Hey, welcome back. We are talking about text files and how to read and write to them. We're going to look at this in a little more detail here. Uh, specifically, I'm going to look at one pitfall that a lot of beginners run into when they're doing their text file reading and writing. And that's the use of a command that we used in the last video. Uh, but we used it to skip to a new line. I'll just give you an example here. So in the last video, we wrote this text file, one number or string per line by doing simple save. And simple save, basically I used one line to write and then the write line command to move the cursor to the next line. And then I just continued along. So number, number, the word hello, number by, right? And that's how I got my file. Now, when I went to load it in the last video, I had done this. I had basically used read real, reads a number, and then read line. Now remember what the purpose of read line was. The purpose of read line was is take the cursor from here down to there. And then I read another number, and then I use read line again to bring the cursor down to there. And this properly gets the cursor to the you know start of the new line. Okay, it's like sort of hitting the enter key for reading. Now the problem is is that there's actually another use for read line file text read line actually does what the name suggests it actually does read the line so I'm just going to give you a little example of this here when I get to the line where I'm trying to read the string instead of reading the string you'll see a lot of tutorials that will actually say read line okay so it tries to read it I'm gonna show it I'm actually gonna put some little extra here after I show it I'm gonna say if the text equals hello show message it was hello seems pretty obvious right if it reads it it gets hello out I should say it's hello let's check out what this does though when I use read line to read an entire line of a text file it's gonna point out the difference between read line and read string so when I go to load yes good number good hello looks like hello then I get a zero and a dot, okay, that's going weird. Remember, my file looked like this. So something failed there after the hello. And what's failed there is after the hello, when you're talking about these strings, I never actually used the read line command when the cursor was here. I used the read line command when the cursor was here. And when it read hello in, it actually hit this invisible, uh, Invisible symbols that are something reminiscent of, uh, some people know this, but backslash R, backslash N. Carriage return, new line. Basically the invisible uh, enter key, right, that brings us to the new file. That invisible enter key actually counts as something that can be read by these read commands. So when I use this read line, you got to be careful. It said hello was read, but... It was not hello because I never saw that message. It was actually something a little bit different. And so sort of the moral of this video is, is I would avoid using read line. Okay. The command you should be losing or using should be read string. Well, what am I doing here? Where's the text? I changed the wrong spot there. That read line was okay. This one right here should just be read string. And then you should follow the read string with a nice file text read line to get to the next line. Now, if you actually run this and trust me, well, file text read line needs the file ID. That'll work just fine like in the previous video. So just a warning, a lot of those Game Maker uh, tutorials out there, I see them using read line. It actually works fine for some cases, but you saw there, you weren't getting exactly hello back. And certainly when you tried reading numbers afterwards, you were definitely not getting the right numbers back. So that's your warning. Just stick to the basic ones like read real and read string, right? Read string reads an entire line anyways, right? Reads the whole line in as a string. Okay, so that's that video. Be careful with that one.